Welcome to Bristol Presents with me, your host, Lee Can Latinworld. Having started out learning a craft in a reggae band, Tanya's route to her UK soul sound has included ragga, drum and bass, hip hop, and she's worked with the likes of acclaimed producers Danny Bird, Labyrinth, and Naughty Boy along the way. She's also drawn the attention of BBC Radio One and One Extra. As a songwriter, she's written hits for the likes of Will I Am and J Lo, and has also supported Bruno Mars on tour. This young lady wears many hats for her many talents. We welcome singer, songwriter, rapper, and now label boss, Bristol born, head chef herself, Tanya Lacey. Thank you very much. What an intro. <laughs> what, what brings you back to Bristol, tell us? Um, well, after being away for so long, I really just felt like it was time to, um, to head back to my roots. And um, I'm working on new material at the moment, so I wanted to get out of the mix and out of London just to come back to, come back to my home and, um, and take some time and take stock of what I've been going through and, and just uh, yeah, begin the writing process at home. Okay. How did you first get involved in, in singing? What was your like, early musical influence as a child growing up in Bristol? I was always involved in, um, in choirs and I used to play the steel drums and, and um, it kind of stemmed from there, writing music from the age of about 11 um, and then I joined a local band um, and I was with them for about two years and then I uh, branched off to London so it was all, it was a very slow ascent and uh, into music. Okay. Could you explain the, the difference in tempo of living and working in Bristol and then moving that transition over into London. Mm, massive, massive tempo change. London is so um, so busy and um, can be quite a hectic environment. And there's there's definitely a, a very strong musical scene in London. Um, there's always something going on, which is great, but it means that it can be easy to get distracted at the same time. Bristol's amazing for culture and for talent, and it's a lot more slower paced. Um, but there's still there's still quite a lot going on. It's just London for me is very, it's very um, erratic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you eventually got signed to Sony Music as an artist, yeah. and you also secured a publishing deal with uh, BMG Chrysalis. Yeah. Uh, what's the story behind those two major events of your career? Well, when I first moved to London, my manager and myself wanted me to be in the studio as much as possible so we had studio sessions literally every day all around London working with lots of different people and um, as I started to get cuts with different artists and, and my writing started to improve um, I was able to get a record contract and then after that I got other cuts with other artists and my credentials as a writer started to to improve and so then I was awarded with it well not awarded but I was uh, I got a publishing contract okay. that way cool. so once you signed your light your, your your name on that dotted line how did life kind of change from you know you being in a position of all right this is what I'm trying to strive for this is what I'm trying to attain to boom I'm here what's that like and how did life change or evolve do you know what initially when when that happened I I was um I was quite naive. I thought, right, this is it, and this is it's going to be like literally months, and I'm going to be this huge superstar, and I'm going to be, you know, it's, it's really going to going to take off. Um, and I did, I did get to travel a lot and work with lots of people, um, but I wasn't aware of, you know, of um, of certain politics, and I didn't know how things would would plan out. Um, and you know, I ended up leaving that um, record label after two years so things didn't in my mind things were going to happen in a completely different way to what they did yeah. but it was still an amazing experience to have actually gone through that and um, still be able to put out music independently after um, and now I think because I've had a lot more experience and I've started at ground level I just think I have a more realistic viewpoint of how the industry works and I've been able to gain more of an insight just through experience. That leads me into the next question because you talk about you, you signed a deal with the Sony and then you parted ways. What? How did that happen? What was the reasoning for, for parting ways with Sony? Um, I think, you know, when I signed, uh, it was a time when the label was going through a lot of different changes and um, so a lot of the people that I originally started out working with had left the company and the new people had come in and what can happen sometimes is you can get lost in the sort of amidst all the changes within the label and I just felt um, it was it was time for me to to part ways with them because, you know, it just didn't seem to be connecting for me. Okay, and 
how did that then lead you into setting up your own record label, Lacey Wood Records? I just, when I was, when I parted ways, I, I literally just was bursting to get music out. I didn't want to wait, I wanted to run, and so um, I decided that the next logical step would be to set up my own label so that I could release my music independently. I was so, going to ask, like, why didn't you go with another major label, but you've kind of answered it. I think, yeah, you're like, get lost in the coming, out, again. coming out of, of that experience, the kind of, the last thing I really wanted to do was to, to to go through that experience again mm -hmm. and I wanted to sort of retain some control and um, and to be in the driving seat so that's why I decided to go independent. Okay, um, not only do you sing but you also rap, do you plan to do more of that in the future? I think I'm gonna, yeah I'm definitely gonna explore that because um, it was something that I did earlier on and I kind of left it alone and just focused more on the song based stuff but um, I think I definitely revisit it. Okay and um, do you see, see yourself expanding maybe into doing maybe acting or yeah. writing books and stuff like that? Definitely um, you know the more people that you that you mix with and, and from all different walks of life especially within the creative industry you, your eyes are open to different opportunities that are out there so I definitely want to uh, you know broaden my horizons and try acting and try uh, try different things and I love writing anyway so and I've got stories so I don't see why writing a book or you know or writing a magazine columns wouldn't be something that I'd be interested in. Well your songs are kind of like little storytelling like episodes in themselves yeah. so it's kind of like the same thing. Yeah yeah it seems like the next the next step. All right. In your bio it says that you overheard a conversation from your local, <laughs> your local news agents where it's a local woman proclaim nobody ever makes something of themselves in St Paul's and that was kind of like one of the moments that sparked you to say look I'm gonna prove people wrong. Have you ever met that woman since? I um, haven't actually, no. No, I think she's just having a really crap day. But um, <laughs> If you saw her again, what would you say to her? I don't think I'd have to say anything. I just thought, uh, maybe I'd just say maybe uh, Google me. <laughs> 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 no, I think um, I think I'd say thank you. Thank you, because you know, it was it was that kind of um, cynicism and skeptical sort of um, ignorant mentality that really sparked the hunger for me to um to succeed uh, what words of wisdom do you have for people listening or watching this uh, interview who's trying to go through a similar career path as you, you, yourself um i would say stay true to who you are and what you're about and um not every shortcut is a good way of getting somewhere so, Tanya, tell us what uh, future projects you got in the pipeline for us. Um, well, I've just collaborated with um, Bond Axe and Matrix and Future Bound and, and had um, really great success with those two records. I've also collaborated with a track that will be coming out soon um, called Hackatron, and that's with Mr. Jam and CJ Beats. So I'm excited about that. And I'll be writing for my next EP as well, so stay tuned. Tanya Lacey? Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.